Okay, y'all, right here, I got one of those 2024 cow calendars from the Dollar Tree. There's this SKU number, and what we're going to do is open to the month of whatever that little bunny rabbit is, and I'm going to poke a hole in it. Originally, I was going to fussy cut around the flowers. I was like, no, I'm not. I just did it around the bunny rabbit. So, I got that charger there from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to try my best to paint that center part right there. It was hard. I made an absolute mess, so I ended up having to use... Uh, nautical rope, but I'm gonna take Mod Podge and put a very very light coat I couldn't you know decipher exactly where my bunny was gonna lay and I hated doing this But I just went ahead and put the light coat all over the entire thing and y'all just a light coat It don't take much and I'm not playing and I'm gonna push him down a little bit there and um, After I do that I'm going to take my saran wrap and lay it down on him and rub him down real good because I want him to stay. That's basically all it takes. And plus, it helps work out any wrinkles if you may have any. But after he's done drying, I'm going to take and go ahead and put another light coat of Mod Podge. And I'm going to take this um, nautical rope here. And um, I'm going to show I put, like, see, I go down in between the... Um, rope strands or whatever they all were and twist it real tight and cut it off so my rope doesn't kind of unravel to make a mess and then um i don't know why i showed y'all but then i'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it all the way around the center of my little plate there he's a handsome little guy ain't he <gasps> i know and then i'm gonna cut off you know where i need and actually i cut just a smidge too short but whatever we'll cover it up and i'm going to take some eucalyptus and cut them down i'm going to try to keep all these um flowers and greenery within my plate and then i got some of that lavender from the dollar tree and the little leaves on that are just adorable and then i'm going to kind of like stick them in between all the way around my plate and then we're going to take lamb's ear and I, again i cut them down to be smaller so they won't hang all over and then we're going to yeah place them down kind of like under that and then yeah this lavender come from the Dollar Tree, uh, not Dollar Tree, the Walmart, y'all. It's janky. It used to be a lot better. But anyway, I shouldn't have said that. But those little yellow flowers are from the Dollar Tree last year. All this stuff is from last year that I have, except the calendars. But um, those little carrots I made and little tiny eggs in one of my videos, I don't even know when. But um, I'm going to take and I'm going to um, put them within my greenery around my little plate. And um, I'm going to take some of that lavender from the Dollar Tree and then just do like a dark one and a middle color one and a light one. Just kind of placing it in there like sporadically. And then I'm going to take these. Those were called white berry and some of them were um, uh, baby's breath. Anyway, and then I take those little carrots from, yeah, and I stick my hot glue gun down in there and fill it full of hot glue. And then I stick some boxwood down in there because I push it down in there forward. I just don't want it like... I want it in there, you know? And I did two of them. Sorry, y'all. And then I'm going to make a finger bow, y'all. And here it is again. And it's easier if you learn with jute twine. I've been meaning to tell y'all that, and I kept forgetting. But you wrap it and wrap it, and then you go down in between. Here's what gets everybody. When you create that loop, you push it through away from you, and then uh, start pulling it real tight. And then you got a cute little uh, finger bow. And I did a double loop there. But um, if y'all see that, there's a way to slow it down um, if you want to watch it slower. Up in the corner, you put, there's three little dots. You click that, and it gives you the option. But I'm just going to hot glue my carrots there, y'all. And I set him on a plate holder. Oh, look how handsome he is. Isn't he lovely? Anyway, <laughs> there he is. And I think that's just adorable. And I don't know. I just do. Okay, y'all, today we're doing the giveaway, or the enter, you can enter in to win, the 2023-2024 Dollar Tree calendars. Um, here's the 23s that I have. Um, I couldn't believe that I found a set, but, um, and you probably saw them in the beginning of the video, but, um, yes, these, ooh, 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 and then, anyway... You know, I should delete this, and but I'm I'm done. I've I've done this three times, and I normally don't do that. But here's the 24s. So, and this is um some of these I bought, but some of them thanks to to so many of you subscribers, uh, sending me some, and I appreciate this so very much. Give me opportunity to share them with others. But anyway, um, this is very important. If you do not hear me say your name, your name then I'm sorry that you didn't win. And I will uh, announce the winner next Sunday. And see, I will put um, the word spring um, in this 
thing. It's a, a random name picker, and it will pick your name, or it chooses the winner. I don't. There's no way I could do that. I'd never do that to y'all. But, um, anyway, and like I said, I will announce it on my screen next Sunday, and say your name or whatever, and if you do not see it there, do not respond to any crazies, because there's some crazy people out there wanting y'all to send them money. Hey, send me money to mail these to you, da-da-da, blah-blah-blah. No, don't listen to them. They're nuts, and they will try. They will try, but unless you hear your name from the horse's mouth, me being the horse, or should I say the piggy's mouth, look how red my nose is because of my coat, so I look like, I don't know, just don't look at my nose. Anyway, so, um... <laughs> Yeah, so in the, not description box, y'all can't even get in there. In the comment section below, enter the word spring. And the reason I say subscribers is because this is for the people who are subscribed to my channel. And I'm not saying that to get you to subscribe. No, not at all. But, I mean, I just don't want to be giving random people gifts. And to people that actually are here and watch me and support me, I appreciate it so very much. You'll be entered in to win. So, if you so choose. So, anyway, um, let's get back into this video, y'all. I love you. Mwah. I know that was a lot, y'all. So, right here, I got one of those little crates from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna paint it with just acrylic white paint. And then that paper pack came from the Dollar Tree. It is so cute, y'all. I just wanted to flip through and show you some of it. Look, and it's actually, like, it's, it's heavier than what you'd imagine. It's heavier than some of that, uh, paper you get from the Hobby Lobby. But, um, anyway, but that next one right there, I don't know why I showed you, but I just wanted to let you know. Well, I think I showed you. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But anyway, I'm just flipping, thumbing through that one. But anyway, um, it's well worth the buy anyway for $1.25. You pay 69 cents for my Hobby Lobby. But, um, that one, that didn't match what it said. I mean, that plaid's beautiful. But that's more shabby chic. Look, that's supposed to have daisies and sunshine and all kinds of stuff on it, and it did not. But anyway, I'm going to take that green piece, um, and I'm going to put it on the bottom, and I'm just going to fold it down there to see the size I need, and then I'd cut it out, which I wish I wouldn't have. And I'm going to take a very, very, again, light coat of Mod Podge. I put it on the top and the bottom because I'm going to put that green paper on the top also. Now, um, yeah, it was crooked because I cut it crooked because I can't cut straight. So I used the opposite side there, and I just folded it down there. And then um, I go ahead and put a light coat of Mod Podge on both of those. And then after it dries, I cut just cut it loose there with a knife. Um, but anyway, I know, anyway, anyway, I can't help myself. I'm going to take that blue paper. This is so cute, y'all. Well, first I'm going to cut that. I thought I cut that out and didn't. Well, well, I cut it out now. But anyway, I'm going to take that bluish maybe it's purplish grayish bluish color i don't know it's really pretty and then i'm gonna run away and grab my paper cutter like a dork and i cut it down here and um i don't know what size i actually tried it two or three times to get it right kept cutting it and there you go because i wanted it a bit small and my head is in the way a lot in this video y'all i lost my um my thing that i record on it broke and i'm using a gooseneck that is yeah, I'm trying to get it right, and it's just, it's a struggle. But anyway, and I'll tell y'all all my business, way too much Mod Podge is there. But I'm going to put that bluish, purplish, grayish color paper on the side there, too. Both sides. And I just do my box all the way around, y'all. And um, see how I, I went and put the Mod but I folded it back there, and I'm just going to cut it down with my knife. Because I, I wanted that little white to show. Yeah, just just for some added cuteness, that's why. And, um, where your, um, handle is for that thing, I don't even think I edited this, y'all. I'm gonna have to go in here and fix it. My, oh, here we go again. Um, yeah, so, and then I took that brain teaser game, and I glued me some little feet. Now, it's got the two holes. I'd use all the ones, and I just aimed them towards one another. You could stick a little skewer in there for a little, like, line across, you know, if you wanted to, yeah. But look how cute that is. Anyway. And then I'm going to take this wire jute from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make me a little, um, yeah, a basket, y'all. This is so cute. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I just, I don't know why. Um, and then I'm going to take, yeah, some tape and just tape that down to help it stay better. I seriously don't think I edited this whole thing when I recorded it here. 
But anyway, let me, let me, well, too late now, y'all get to enjoy this. But I did the same thing to both sides, and apparently, I just wanted to make sure you knew how. Anyway, so then I'm going to take some Spanish moss, and, um, you know, I can't find that anymore. Anyway, I originally was going to use the pink and the blue egg, but I switched to the purple and the blue egg, but, um, it's, it's because I cut my pink one too short. Now, when you cut these, the bottom part to me was, if you have very sharp scissors, it was very easy to cut. I'm just digging me little holes there to set my bottoms. And, um, but the top where it had that hard plastic part, it was harder to cut. So I tried to cut it off there. Um, that was, that was hard too. Maybe I should have used my heat knife. But anyway, y'all see what I'm doing here. Just cutting little, yeah, in my, and then I got those little, those are so cute, chicken cheap cheeps. And I'm sorry, look away, kids, but I'm going to tear his feet off. And I pull them off. And then his little twister thing there, I use my lime and pliers and I snap that off there. And then I got my little chick. And yeah, see how easy it is to cut that bottom one? Like snap, 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 snap. I mean, it was like butter. But yeah, I'd already messed up the top part. So there you go. I'm just editing as I go, y'all. So, anyway, look, that one's trying to get away from me. He's like, you ain't gonna tear my feet off like you did my brother. <laughs> anyway, I'm so mental. <laughs> anyway, I take little pom-poms that were yellow, trying to match them best I could. Timu sent me a gazillion of them last year. But, I don't know, it looks like one of them little fancy chickens. That and that. But that's gonna help his little um, hat, I don't know what to call it, um, set up higher so it's not down over his eyes. But it also, if you know, if you happen to see it, it's still yellow. And I do the same thing to her. But like I said, see, I changed her to purple. These are just too cute, y'all. And I'm going to take that stuff I got from the Dollar Tree last year. It's got Rick Rack and stuff in it. But there I just wanted the Hoppy Easter. First I thought it said Happy Easter, but it didn't. But I accidentally had Easter, Hoppy Easter. But I'm just going to make me like a little banner hanging down here. And, yeah, put it on my, mm-hmm. Yeah, you got those little words, too, you can use for other things. You can actually even glue them on Easter eggs and stuff, you know? It's just so cute. Decorate little Easter eggs with the, oh, no, just so adorable. But anyway, and then I take that Rick Rack and I glue it all the way um, around my entire little basket here, you guys. Um, yeah. And I don't know why I used those papers. I just grabbed them, but somehow it all just came together, and it was just... Too much cuteness to handle. But I'm going to put my little chicks down in there. I do glue them in um, their bottom part of their eggs. And then I'm going to take this ribbon from something else I made. You'll see here in a little bit. And I made me a wee teeny tiny little bow here. And I'm just going to cut them at an angle. And I think I, yeah, I do singe the ends of them. And I'm going to hot glue them. Hot glue it there to the top of my little handle. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Anyway, and first I was going to put me some Easter eggs in there, but I changed my mind, and I just started putting greenery and some of those yellow flowers from the Dollar Tree and little tiny baby's breath and lavender and just all kinds of little bitty tiny cuteness. And here it is, y'all. <laughs> I think this is adorable. I mean, it's even small enough you can set it on some too. Oh, my gosh, look at those chicks. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna call y'all. Sorry, I sound a little bit rough, but oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I love them. I hope they had them this year. Y'all could do so much with those. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, right here, I got those this year from the Dollar Tree. And um, what I'm going to do, oh, and those beads right there, those garlands, I got those last year from the Dollar Tree. That one I about used up all of that that other one but anyway i'm gonna save that um tassel and that little tiny bunny rabbit and this other one's got a little tiny chicken and um yeah i'm gonna save those but i'm gonna take um lavender chop paint by waverly dusk by waverly ballet slipper by waverly celery by waverly and then that um mustard yellow by um home decor and i was going to use that Sage here by Home Decor, and I didn't. And I also used Cottage White by Home Decor. Now, I'm going to have to cut, a uh, cut, nope, paint me some green beads because 
I didn't have any the celery beads and I'm just gonna tape them down there and paint them up real quick and I'm gonna paint the inside of my eggs now if you get like a, a stencil or something like that you can paint them really really fast but it is messy but that's okay with me I'm always messy but then I take a smaller brush and paint the insides so um and I had to paint me some uh that cottage white color beads too it's almost like plaster it's between white and plaster by Waverly so anyway just paint up all my little eggs and then I'm gonna cut me up a bunch of Easter ribbon or just uh, Easter-esque color ribbons and some uh, burlap and some uh, black and white gingham but anyway and then I'm gonna take this darning needle and I'm gonna do like first I put on it well, I'm gonna tap my fingers I'll go ahead and put on an egg um We'll do up that end in a bit. But I kept my jute attached. Don't cut your jute away because you don't know how much you'll need. But I just started putting like three beads, like any color. I tried not to put that exact color right by my egg. But just random, you know what I mean? And then I did an egg and three beads and an egg and three beads and blah, 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 blah. And so then I'm going to take that ribbon and I'm gonna start tying it on. That one was hard to get on. That's why I used um, a needle and not just um, the jute, you guys, because some of them are really, really tight at the top. And then, yes, I'm gonna do ribbon, like, um, beside each egg, you know? And I don't know, I tied on five, six, four, ten. It didn't matter, whatever size my ribbon was, if it was bigger ribbon, I tied less. But on each side of each egg, and then just left the beads in between that. You know what I mean? I don't know. If you watching, it's probably easier. After I get that ribbon on, I slide my beads over and then um, then do more ribbon. Yeah. Okay. So, then when we get down to the end, we're going to go ahead and cut it off. This is when it's all done. And it doesn't take that long. But this is adorable. You guys, you get something like this from Hobby Lobby. You're going to pay $40, $50 for it, if not more. And I got nothing in it. Um, probably the most I got in it is ribbon. And you still don't even have to use as much as I did. But I'm going to shorten down my ribbon here. Um, because it was I didn't want it to overpower everything. And I didn't know how long to cut it. But I put five beads on each end. And then I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to redo that. I'm going to put that on my my garland there. And I'm going to take and run it through the center of that one tassel. Um, and then, yeah, pull the string out that was on it. But um, And then I'm going to take that little uh, chicken. And um, I do like a lark's head knot on it because we're going to tie it on our string there. We don't want it going anywhere. Um, yeah, so I just take and, yeah... I do, yeah, loop that through there, and then you bring it down, I don't know if y'all could see, and I did this slow so y'all could see, but I wrapped the jute, put one piece on each side right above his head where, where we uh, made that original loop, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, you guys, anyway, and he won't go anywhere, and we scoot him down there, and then I ran it through um, my tassel there, and then you just kind of like wrap it around itself and not it on you see what i mean and that way it won't fall off either and it's gonna stay on there and that way you don't have a bunch of hot glue and it doesn't look a mess you know i mean that's just my opinion but you know what everybody says anyway what opinions are like but here it is you guys and i haven't hung it up yet because i'm gonna hang it um coming down in my craft room around that door and of course um i just haven't had the time but yeah I think it's so pretty. I hope you all like it too. Oh no. I just think it's the most, to say the least. Anyway, yeah, I think it's just so cute. And I hope y'all like it. Anyway, and it's something easy. Yeah. Okay. I threw this one in. It's not springy or Eastery because one, I love lanterns, and two, I was going to do it for something else, but. I didn't, so I'm going to take my tin snips, one of those wire baskets from the Dollar Tree, and I cut the bottom out of it, which is unnecessary. You just need to cut the rings off of it, so I just added extra work to myself. Yeah, just, yeah, never mind that. But anyway, I'm going to cut it all loose there. Just be careful. Um, and I'm going to take that giant mason jar, and I'm going to wrap it 
there around there. Not a dirt, barber dirt. Anyway, of course I cut it crooked. But um, and then I'm gonna take a piece of jute and I'm just gonna tie it, like and wrap it around and knot it. Um, not knot it, just put a bow on it. I'm gonna take this um floor wire from Dollar Tree and again I'm gonna use my little needle here. Y'all, this I'm in love with this thing. Anyway, and I'm gonna just like I'm sewing it, I'm running up through there because I wanna. I lined that up to where, see how I lined it up to where I wanted to make it look, yeah, kind of seamless because I'm not a welder and I don't weld. So I, I can use floral wire and needles but <laughs> and sew up my wire basket. But anyway, and I just got down through there and get it together really well. And then um, I put my mason jar back on it because I wrapped it through the loops at the bottom and made like a drawstring thing with the floral wire. And see how I'm pulling it there? Yeah, because I'm going to um, knot that up, too, and that will help that stay together like that. And then I'm going to take and attach the one I sewed up the seam to the bottom there that I made, like the drawstring thing. Anyway, so those flowers were given to me to make a wreath for the church, and they told me just to keep them. And the stems were huge, and I'm like, what's in there? It's some kind of wire. So I pulled out the wire, and... um. I'm just, and that is a napkin ring. I'll show you that later. But, um, I just put it up through there and see, yeah, those napkin rings I got like two or three years ago from Kroger, 50 cents for two. And I'm going to take and make it big enough to, yep, squeeze right up there in a hole. But anyway, um, hmm. Those bowls, I, they, I think they come in a pack of six from the Dollar Tree. But, and then I'm going to take one of those bulbs and, um, well, I'd already used the bulb, so I'm just wanting the top. And I'm going to discombobulate that and take everything out. And even the little black turn on and off thing. I try to save the fairy lights, but no, it's wired in there. And then I'm going to take one of those little uh, wood rings that Miss Valerie Allison sent me. Or, yeah. And first I put a piece of jute up in there. Hot glue doesn't in there is my idea, but it just didn't work. And then I didn't have one the size of the top of that. So I just traced it out and took my big old clonking scissors here. I forget about these things. And cut little slits in it. And I just cut my circle out and sand it down to to size. To, to fit on top of my thing there. And I take Aileen's tacky glue. I didn't fart, y'all. That's my elbow running across, across the table. I know I'm such a lady and so like, ugh. So, like, makes people want to watch me. But anyway, and hot glue, and I glued that in there. And then I'm going to take elephant chalk paint, and I'm going to stipple it all over um, my, that, and the bottom, and the napkin ring. And then, because, no, no, I'm goofy, the bottom had some pattern in it. I was like, oh, no, this is where I'm poking holes to put my hanger. And I take my heat tool and do that. And um, then I'm going to dry brush mineral chalk paint all over it but it's like real heavy first i messed up and did sandstone i'm like something don't look right then i had to paint it all gray again and then go over it with the mineral but anyway and um yeah i don't know which color that is but i use mineral in the end yeah so and then i'm gonna take all these little magnets you get from the dollar tree i take like five or six of them i don't know and i hot glue them in the bottom of my bowl there and I don't know if I show it, but I also hot glue them to the top of my little um, ring. Uh, no, my little, the top thing that did hold a bulb. But anyway, that's going to make my napkin ring um, stick to my. And here's where I tried to mimic the pattern in the bowl, which didn't look great. But it wasn't the worst, but it looks vintage. Anyway, and I sanded it down when I was done. And, um... And I dry brush back over it. Yeah, I sand it. Yeah, because I didn't want those thick plastic pieces from, um, you know, from where you use your heat. Um, oh, I painted it again. And then I'm going to take this wood bead and use Aileen's tacky glue and hot glue. And I'm going to glue it to the top there. Yeah. And then paint it the same as everything else. And then I'm taking my wire here and cutting it down to size. And I'm squeezing that up in there. And I just wrapped the excess wire that was left over to it. And there's where I put the napkins in the top. And then I took another one and I made me a really long hanger. And I'm putting some beads on it. Um, those are some beads that came from Dollar Tree that I stained. Um, but then um, 
I put two little tiny beads, you'll see in a minute here. I'm just making my hanger. I bent it down, and I'm just going to bend it around there. Yeah, those little teeny tiny beads. Those ones are a 12 millimeter, but the little tiny ones are like 6 millimeter, and I just glue them there to like hold my little handle on. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this ebony rub and buff. Um, it's in my uh, description box, y'all. And I'm just going to... Um, distress and age my lantern i kind of wish that i would have just did the entire top ball in black <laughs> and um but i didn't but i went really dark on it but yeah i ran over my beads and my napkin ring and the bottom and i really accentuated um the the lumps <laughs> lumps i don't know what they are the bumpy things i'll even put them on my um wire there in the middle Y'all, this is easy to make, I promise. But my candle was too short, so I just set a water bottle cap there and um, set my lantern on top of it. And going to put... That way we can change our candle. And there it is, y'all. And I absolutely love it. This is a... Um, I saw this one similar in Antique farm on antique farmhouse's website and i was like oh i love that i want it but theirs was really expensive so there's my version and mine and there's with the lights out which i don't know if it's a big difference but and mine weighs like two ounces you know but anyway okay i'm gonna take one of those 12 inch well 11 something wood hanging signs from the dollar tree and I'm going to take 12 millimeter half beads and I'm going to take Aileen's tacky glue and I'm going to glue them all the way around. Y'all, these almost were perfect except I had to leave a little bigger gap in one bead. But I got those stencils from Amazon and I don't know if they're in my description box or not, but I can put them in there. And I was like, oh no, because I needed it to set up higher and I didn't know what to do. Now this one is messed up. I just took a um, fine tip... Um, Da, 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 da. Sharpie and a regular Sharpie, and I went over my words because I was afraid to paint it because I couldn't get it to lay flat because of my beads. And and then it ended up now look, see my head's in the way this whole time. And then I trace out my truck and the word flowers and write it in. And then I take a uh, marker, a uh, paint marker, acrylic paint marker. And I start painting my truck. I was like, boy, this is a lazy route to go. And I painted my flowers. And I didn't leave it in because my head was in the whole time. It was in the way. And I kept outside of my truck highlighted in black. And then I'm going to take... This is a trippy brush. Trippy? No. Chippy brush. I was like, oh, I need to let her know. Anyway, Sandra, I get mine at Harbor Freight. Um, most of them, but the Dollar Tree does. I do get them from the Dollar Tree, but they're actually called chip brushes. But I, I think everybody just about calls them chippy brushes. But yeah, it's like they're just not that uh, like your regular, uh, like full bristle brush, you know. But yeah, so just ask for chip brushes. I think you can get them about anywhere, honey. But anyway, so um, I'm going to take one of those baskets from Dollar Tree drawer organizers. They come in a pack of three. And I, um, I'm going to weave that uh, burlap ribbon like every other, well, every, no, it's every, like, I don't know. Y'all just have to see. It's all of them. I don't leave, like, gaps. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, anyway. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't like this one. And please don't come at me and give me a hard time um, for not giving myself, you know, um, you know, not saying good things about myself, because I, I do like a lot of them, and I had high expectations for this one, but it kind of, I don't know, something don't look right, and I think this is where I messed up, so it just doesn't all go together, I think, I, I had this idea in my mind, and, and they can't all be winners, but anyway, I think right here, where I put the gingham um, ribbon on top, and then I put the um, lace ribbon on the bottom, maybe that made it look weird or something because at first i thought it was cute and then i'm like mm, i don't know and then i called brenda of course she said it was fine so um blame her if y'all don't like it because she said it was fine and then after i critiqued it 
she told me to add some flowers and I forgot to add the updated pictures in here. So there you have it. But anyway, I did add some purple flowers to it. And, but y'all, yeah, right here, you guys. So I cut this craft stick and cause I was going to staple it on, I forgot to put the short staples in my electric stapler. Just the long ones are in there. And what do y'all think happened? So I twist this wire and I, mm, I hot glue it on there and then I grab my stapler and I put my little craft stick down there first. And then I grab my stapler and blah, blah, blah. Two of them, one of them went in my beads. Yeah. So I had to fuss and fight to get that out of there. Mm. Then I got frustrated and dropped my phone. And then, yeah, there you go. I just, nah, nah, nah. yeah. So anyway, this video would have been out yesterday had it not been for that DIY. But anyway, you guys, so, <gasps> yeah. Um, I hot glue my basket on there, and then I'm like, this is wobbly, so I take a piece of a cut paint stir stick that I've had forever, and I shove it up underneath there and glue because you're not going to see it. And then I take these bits and pieces of this um, floor foam, cut it down that I've had. I just, I even hot glued some together. And my little sign said, uh, tulips, roses, and daisies. I thought, oh, I'd be cute to put tulips, roses, and daisies in there. So that's what I did. But the problem is, my these all come from Michaels. Those, y'all, I got those last year. And then the tulips I got three years ago, seriously. And um, y'all know I don't use a lot of florals, and this is why. Because I cannot make them come together. And I stress over it, and I just don't like how they look. So I, I cut them down. And then, uh, first I grouped them, then I cut them down, but, and I ran out of daisies. I thought I had more daisies than that, but apparently, I did not. But I did put a little gingham bow on the front of it. And that basket is cute off by itself. It just doesn't go with the truck. I think I should have not even put the basket on this sign and just made the truck and the fresh flowers and yada yada, and maybe added a few flowers to it. But I just think it's a bit busy i'm sorry y'all i don't know maybe it's me but here's everything y'all absolutely everything i hope you all enjoyed the video i'm gonna try to have one sunday hey listen don't count on it you guys this room was such a mess i had to work on i spent five days trying to deep clean my house put up decorations take down decorations move deck this room i couldn't even walk in i had a path to my staging area and a path to get out of here. It was terrible, y'all. Oh no. Anyway, I forgot. Well, anyway. Uh so yeah. I had to I had to get clean and done and then with church and we had I had church functions and you know, it's uh, my parents, my mother fell, fractured her spine. Oh my gosh. And my dad had fallen, and she went to help him, which made her fall, and then she fractured her spine. I'm like, oh, no, they're going to kill me for telling you, but I love you all. And anyway, um, okay, y'all, and this is another, I hope I don't mess up your name, honey, because even though you told me how to pronounce it, that don't mean I won't butcher it, but her name is Jarverlin. Jarverlin? Jarverlin? I know I'm going to mess that up. And, um... She said it was... Pre Wait a minute. I'm confused. I've confused myself. Ja it's spelled... I don't know. I just need to move on. But anyway, so... um, Look, this is so cute. I, I didn't know anything like that came from the Dollar Tree. I've never seen anything like that. I love that. Y'all, I should have... And, of course... I love these cards and, and notes. Oh, I got some more, yeah, cards in the mail and stuff. I'm going to try to do all of them now. I don't know. But look at that. How pretty. You guys, I got so much to use next year for Christmas. I love that. I think that'd be pretty just as a pillow. And then, look. Look. Look at that. I just, I don't know. I just think those would be beautiful, beautiful pillows. But she also made me some gifts. And... Look how cute this is. And I love tartan plaid. And then this, you guys, this was just too much. Wait a minute. I'm missing something here. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so loud. I'm always so loud. I'm missing something. 
I know I am. Uh, hold on. Anyway, you guys, this is, I don't know. Uh-oh, honey's home. It's going to be noisy. But, oh, look at that. That, I don't know. Oh, is that the cutest or what? I know. But, anyway, and I know I'm missing, anyway, and some napkins. But look, that. Oh, no. Look, look. Oh my gosh, no. These are like some of my, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. I know y'all's like, and I'm asking Danny where she got the napkins and she ain't answered, but look. Oh, look. Oh, look, my dad loves Snoopy. He loves Snoopy. Look, I love these, you guys. I, she must be a puppy lover, too. Look, oh my goodness. And this is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at these birds. Oh, I know. And <laughs> look. Eh, anyway. And then here's another. Look, dear, those are so pretty. Uh, ooh, I love it, love it, love it. And then look how cute he is. Oh, I know. And then this. I think that's just pretty. That would be so good for winter. I didn't want to use them until I shown them, but this, you guys. The donkey and the snowman. I mean, oh my gosh. Right? And look how cute. Oh no. I love it. And then, look, this is, I can't wait to use it. I love that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I know. And this one's adorable, which I can still use this one. I still got time to use this one. Look how cute. I love the little bone. Oh, I had it upside down. I'm goofy. On my side, it wasn't upside down, you guys. And then this. You know, I've never gotten any of these from the Dollar Tree. Never. And these are cute. I think I have some of these. But look at them. I love them. I, I made firecrackers. I love them. It's so cute. And look. Got me some more American flags. Thank you very much. This is gorgeous. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Be still my heart. And then look. <laughs> I love that. This one is oy. Oh. Look. Mm, 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 mm. And then some tartan plaid, of course. Oh, and I love these. Look. Mm, you guys. I needed turkey. Turkeys. And these are so cute. <laughs> look. <laughs> And then, oh, uh, the mailbox and the birds. Oh, no. Y'all, look. Oh. Uh, and then, this is so adorable. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. The little cars with the presents and the Christmas trees. I know. And then, oh, wait a minute. Linus, I not Oh, look! And Charlie Brown. <laughs> You've seen that one and that one. I don't know if y'all saw this one, but it's so precious. Look at it. Look. Oh. And then this. I can use this now. Oh, it's pretty. Look at those colors. Oh, my gosh. That's vibrant, isn't it? I love these vibrant, like, here I am, napkins. I don't know. Did I miss? This reminds me of a, a football field. Football. And this is so pretty. I love plaid. And I think these would be gorgeous together. Look, fall is my favorite color. Maybe that's what this is intended for. And then look. Plaid. Okay, I just showed you that one. And then... Oh, I love this one. I know. Look, I love the turkey thing. I know y'all was like, what? But, you know, that's what everybody eats for Thanksgiving. Ah, yes. And then, I love this one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. This one said something. The other side didn't. Look at that. She already removed the things and cut them down for me. And then, look how beautiful that is. 
And then my husband totally needs this in his room. Look, gone fishing. Oh my gosh. And my pastor and, and, and man at our church, I just love him. They just are fishing. Cr I know what it is. Wait. Look. <laughs> it's still sad now. I like keeping gifts from you all out. But oh my gosh, you guys. This is just, y'all. Anyway, oh, I just love you guys, and I just appreciate it so very much, and it just it just means the world. So, um, I'll see y'all next weekend. Thank you very very much, Jarvin. Thank you everybody who uh, Jarvin Jarvin, sorry, who is some, you just it, it, you you just amaze me, and calendars is you know, but I I, I, I don't know. I love you guys. I'll see you. Bye. Okay, y'all, and this is another, I hope I don't mess up your name, honey, because even though you told me how to pronounce it, that don't mean I won't butcher it, but her name is Jarverlin, 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 I know I'm going to mess that up, and um, I, she said it was, pre wait a minute, I'm confused, I've confused myself, J it's spelled, I don't know, I just need to move on, but anyway, so, um, look, this is so cute. I, I didn't know anything like that came from the Dollar Tree. I've never seen anything like that. I love that. Y'all, I should have, and of course, I love these cards and, and notes. Oh, I got some more, yeah, cards in the mail and stuff. I'm going to try to do all of them now. I don't know. But look at that, how pretty. You guys, I got so much to use next year for Christmas. I love that. I think that'd be pretty just as a pillow. And then, look. Look. Oh. Look at that. I just, I don't know. I just think those will be beautiful, beautiful pillows. But she also made me some gifts. And look how cute this is. And I love tartan plaid. And then this, you guys, this was just too much. Wait a minute. I'm missing something here. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so loud. I'm always so loud. I'm missing something. I know I am. Uh, hold on. 